This is Vicky, also known as Dragonfly7673. Today is February 9th and it is quarter after five. There's actually a little bit of daylight, but I'm still putting some lights on. I was hoping to record a little bit earlier, but best friend uh, didn't leave quite as soon as I thought he was going to, which is, it's fine. <laughs> um, he was going to the local track to walk and I actually already got a walk today because my manager was having one of those days and she said, I need a break. You want to walk? So I said, sure. So we walked for like 45 minutes on the track and I got, uh, I don't know, I have 11,000 steps for today, so it's good for me. Um, I don't have a lot to show you. Um, the only thing I worked on is I had told you guys I really wanted to get done with my K facet Afghan squares. Sorry, Tigger's here. Of course. Um, with my K facet Afghan squares because tomorrow, February 10th, starts the crochet mystery along. And I really wanted to I wanted to be prepared to start that, and not feel like I still had this other one lingering. Now granted I need to sew things up and block them and all that fun stuff, but my squares are knit. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They are all done. Um, now, you see a lot of ends. That's because I got to the point of desperation where all I was doing was finishing one and casting one on, or finishing one and then casting the next one on. And actually that was okay because I would cast one on and I'd decide, well, I just want to get through this part. And then I'd be like, well, I can probably make it to the... Um, through the increases and then it was like oh well now I just gotta finish the decreases and then oh well I'm almost done I'm on this little stripe section and once you're on this it actually goes pretty fast because you're changing yarns really fast and you're decreasing so anyway so I powered through the last four um, only two of them had their ends woven in one did already and one I did today at work in between various things I weave in one end <laughs> it, it, there was a lot of things going on today. I had no meetings today, uh, but I ended up being incredibly busy today. So, which is which is good. But <laughs> um, actually, if I had meetings, I probably would have gotten my ends woven in. But anyway, I will finish weaving in the ends tonight, and I might start blocking tonight. I am trying to figure out if I can make some sort of template. So I get the squares about the same size. The very first batch I did, I soaked and then pinned them out to dry. The next couple batches I did, I pinned out dry and then used a spray bottle. And I thought it was working really well. Well, the ones I did that to are slowly curling. And they're not the same size as the first batch. So I decided I'm going to do all of them over by soaking and I was a lot more careful on the first batch on making sure they were the same size. So I'm just going to start the blocking over and figure out how to make them. Like I said, I think I want to make some sort of template. But I'd like to get them all. I can't get them all blocked at the same time because I don't have enough uh, blocking space. Um, to be honest, I'd be kind of thinking if we moved out my son, I would have lots of floor space um, to block. Because I actually have a ton of blocking mats. I just don't have room to put them. Especially because my cats think that blocking mats are the best scratching post stuff ever. And one of them likes to eat foam and throw it up. Hi. You know what you are? You're a podcast bomber. Mm -hmm. Yes. You're like a photo bomber. Um, so, but I think I'll try and figure out how to make a template tonight and maybe just get a batch started. So, we shall see. 
But either way, they're all done. And uh, I can start uh, the crochet one tomorrow without feeling any guilt about it. And eventually I will, of course, have to attach them and make them into a blanket. But that's fine. <laughs> the, the part that I was really dreading is done. Uh, now, I say that now, and I may get really sick of sewing them together. <laughs> we shall see. But that's the only thing I worked on, and I feel really bad about that. That's the one thing about doing this every week, is like when I have a week like this, well, all we do is power through the same square. It doesn't give you a lot. <laughs> um, which is part of the reason I asked, I added the what do you want me to share thread, because I was hoping that would help add some content. But we're actually running low because we haven't had a lot of questions on there. Um, and I look through the new interweave knits thinking that maybe I would share that with you. But I didn't see anything significantly good or bad about it. Um, so it wasn't interesting enough to share. I mean, either you want th something that you're like, wow, this is a really cool article. This is a really cool pattern. Or, wow, can you believe they put this in here? Nothing like that. Um, I did get a couple uh, Acreworks bobbins, partially because I got a slight discount um, for being a tester. Basically, I the first time when I got one, I paid for the shipping and handling piece of it, and then that came off my that amount came off my order. Oh, speaking of, I will say I love the electronic prizes. All the prizes are, do are done, and like somebody will contact me and say, hey, I won this prize, and, and I can see the email and pretty immediately respond and take care of it, and it's done. I mean, I can do it right away. I saw one right away in the morning when I was getting ready for work, and I was like, oh, let me take care of it. Tum, 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 tum. Before I was even finished getting ready for work, I had sent it out. Now, I realize the people that got the prizes do not expect me to do it that fast or want it. But for me, it's just like, I'm done. No shipping, no sending boxes, no packing it up, no making labels. <laughs> so, it's I've been very happy with that change, and it's making me enjoy the process more. Um, all right. Um, I did go to see my mom and son. I went Thursday after work. Um, hung out with my mom, my son, his girlfriend a little bit, and then Friday we had his a meeting at his school for his IEP, which went really well, and then we did some homework. Well, he's been sick, so I took him to the uh, express clinic. I pulled him out of school a little early because his last class was chamber singers, and he wasn't really singing anyway because his throat was so bad, and um, so we went to the doctor, turned out he looks like he has pneumonia, so he didn't do show choir this past weekend. He stayed home, and then um, we did a little bit of homework, and then I came back Friday night. On Saturday, we celebrated best friend's dad's birthday by going out to lunch as a family. And then Sunday, yesterday, I went knitting with... A friend of mine, the one who I made the pot holders for, she really liked them. And she made me some more uh, dragonfly note cards, which I won't need as many since I'm not shipping. So now it'll be strictly for notes and things like that. Um, but anyway, it was a good day. And then the only problem we're having is we gave my TV away to my son. And now the only TV we have is a little bitty one in my bedroom. So I was sitting on the bed all day which is not comfortable. Um, that's okay. See, there's nothing exciting this week. <laughs> I'm really sorry. I'm just going to go to the uh, question and we'll uh, maybe we'll call it good for this this time. And I, I'm sorry it's so short. But I was asked uh, Crouching Cheese asked this. One of my go-to questions is if you could have one superpower, what would it be and why? And then she says, on a more practical note, where is the coolest place you've ever visited and is there some place else you're hoping to be able to travel to in the future? 
Um, if I could have one... Hi! If I could have one superpower, it would be flight. I have always dreamed of, like, just soaring through the sky. Most of my, well, a lot of my dreams include flying. Um, so, and I've, over time, have sometimes learned to control my dreams, so sometimes that's actually a choice. I've just always been fascinated with the idea of flying through the air like Superman. Hey, what are we doing? Wow. Thank you. Thank you. I love you too. Um, <laughs> and where is the favorite place I have traveled? I think, uh, I haven't traveled a lot of places, but I really, I really greatly enjoy, um, when I went to Switzerland and I would like to do that again and be going, you know, with somebody like best friend and going exploring and maybe sometimes when it's not freezing cold. Um, it was really pretty. They spoke enough English that I could get by. The public transit was really easy to decipher. And that's a place I'd like to explore some more. Of a place I would like to travel to, I really want to go to New Zealand and see Hobbit Town. We keep joking that if we ever get married, um, which is not on the horizon at the moment, but if we ever get married, um, that that would be a really cool place to go for a honeymoon is go and get to see Hobbit Town. Although my son keeps saying that that's one of two places that if we ever visit, he wants to go. Um, other things, his other one is Japan. If I ever go to Japan, he really wants to go to Japan with me. Um, but otherwise, yeah, New Zealand's a big one. Australia's a big one, and um, I'd really like to go to Ireland. I would like at some point... Um, I never had a huge interest in Scotland until CC and Damaris moved there and now seeing some of the things that they've seen and knowing that they're there I would like to go there I mean I would love to even um, go for a, uh, go for a time and just you know kind of cover all of Great Britain but I think that answered everything <laughs> anyway please if you have something you want me to share whether it's something that you want me to share with the general audience that you know about or something you are wondering, please put it in the what do you want me to share about thread. I do still owe you a review of the Yarnet. However, everything I've been working on, still, again, uh, projects are multi-project uh, multi balls. So it hasn't worked for that. This is not particularly comfortable. I went to the chiropractor today and got myself all straightened out, and this might mess it all up. My mom calls him the Velcro Kitty because he decides that he's going to attach himself to you, and there's no unattaching him. So, I think that's everything. I'm sorry it's short. Um, myself and the Velcro Kitty say goodbye now. Bye.